I've got the noisiest shoes. So it is, it is the weekend of the Baptist Assembly. Um, I am, oh man, I, I'm up early. I was up mega early and I didn't sleep very well. Um, so I went for, a, went for a run first thing this morning. So that was great. And now I am heading out to the conference center to set up my table really early. Um, it's a nice warm day, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I've been out for a run, done that. Why did I do that? I did that because it's important to start the day right. So I'm just trying to look after my well-being. I know that this afternoon is going to be it's going to be a busy one. Actually, the whole day is going to be a busy one, not this afternoon. Um, so I just needed to make sure my head was in the right space. So last night I spent the evening with friends. That was really nice, just having a laugh. And now, now let's go to Baptist Assembly. That's it done. I am set up. Um, I'm now going to try and grab some. Uh, ah, I'm out of focus. I'm now going to try and grab some tea or some coffee or something. Um, hot water probably. Uh, let's get this party started. to our communities. I'm often reminded of the comment, the missionaries came to bring us the bread of life, but we choked on the packaging. Building a bigger table is about us not making that same mistake. It's about us starting from a place of listening, being contextual and respecting Christ in everyone. Building a bigger table is about taking the time to listen and hear those who are not like us, who hold different views to us. I have to be honest, my experience as a millennial female in Baptist ministry means that daily I interact with people who don't believe I should have a voice. Every day I meet with people who hold an interpretation of the Bible that means they don't believe I should exercise leadership and there shouldn't be space for me. But I'm still here. We, we are still here. Because, because of our confidence in the gospel and our distinct Baptist DNA, DNA compels us to listen, to learn, to hear, to know and respect even indifference. Paul writes, for though I am free with respect to all, I've made myself a servant to all, that I might win some more. To the Jews, I became a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law, I became as one under the law. So that to the outsider of the law, I became an outsider to the law, so I might win some. To the weak, I became weak, that I might win the weak. I've become all things to all people, so that I may by some means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Can we, as a Baptist movement, build a bigger table for the sake of the gospel? I acknowledge this will be difficult at times, but I wholeheartedly believe it will bring blessing and joy. This is not about perfection. 
There's power in allowing yourself to be known and heard, in owning your unique story, your authentic voice, and there's grace in being willing to know and hear it in others. I accept that some of you may have switched off when I stood up here. I acknowledge that some of you may choose not to listen. I accept that you may not want to hear from me because of my age, gender, or perceived theology. But friends, even if you don't want to hear from me, I'd love to listen to you. Let's connect over this year and build a bigger table. Hayley, your gifts and spiritual leadership have been recognised amongst us and we are calling you to serve us as our president. As you share in the building up of the common life of Baptist Together and the faith and mission that lie at the heart of our movement, will you commit yourself to serving as our president? Will you be diligent in service faithful in offering inspiration and encouragement? And will you support and pray for us all and enable us to grow healthy churches in relationship for God's mission? I will, God's spirit empowering me. I've now got to find out where I'm going for the next session for prep. So that is good. Now we're going to go and see if we can. Um, so that's prep for this evening's session. So this evening we've been doing loads of listening and missional listening around um, the assembly, what the conversations are. So we are learning what that is. So we will now just feed back from that and then see where we're at. So I hope. So I've got to find that room um, because we're just discussing what happens next and that's going to take an hour but I can't stay an hour because I've got to then go and do some um, stuff. All right. got home last night it, um, at like half ten. I live very far up north and um, so yeah that is a snapshot of the weekend and I just want to say thank you thank you so much for all of you that came up and spoke to me and um, apologies that I couldn't spend kind of high quality time with with lots of you. Thank you for those that have been connecting with me on social media I will get back to your emails and comments and DMs. And um, it feels weird. It feels really weird. Um, obviously, it's just exhausting um, that weekend, but just trying to also take time to to absorb it, to be present in that moment and now reflect. And I'm just so grateful for for the opportunities that that I've had and that I'm going to have um, and it's just a real privilege to be able to serve the Baptist movement in, in this way for this season. Um, so yeah I'm going to I'm gonna leave it there if you're new to the channel thank you for for checking this out um, I will be journeying uh, with my uh, camera into all the different areas that, that I will have it as, as president and some of the MBA stuff and other things. This week I'm preparing for a talk for Magnify You, which is about uh, encouraging women in leadership in our Baptist movement and that's on Wednesday. Thankfully it's on Zoom. So it's quite a quite a light week, um, which is which is good before another busy weekend. 
but thank you for watching um, it's been amazing please do uh, give this video a thumbs up uh, do subscribe uh, and share it um, you can also contact me on any of my social media channels um, and it's just been great thank you so much for all your support and love and encouragement it's amazing so thank you for being you and I've been me and I will see you next time.